Are you okay? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, all right. All right. Thank you very much for your response. Uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, as usual, uh, new gadgets. Uh, we have to take time for us to uh, behave and uh, to uh, to have uh, control of it. Right. Uh, so quickly to jump in. Okay. Uh, what we want to have today is that we will uh have uh a quiz uh quiz one today. Okay. Which I will uh share the link later on yeah okay? and you guys have to actually join through uh the browser yeah okay? and then uh we will also uh try to cover chapter four which is on error detection and uh prevent uh, the error detection and error correction lah, right uh so to start with for today uh i would like you guys to sorry lah. To start for today, I would like you guys to log in to this link, okay? uh, HTTPS double dot uh, slash forms dot GME with the code of uh, NBKGCT TQKLJXP K4 uh, F6. Okay, why don't I convert this? <laughs> you are good. Okay, next time I need to do that. Okay, so can you guys log in to that? Ah, it's not up here, probably. Yeah. So, get yeah, able to do that. Cannot paste the link, sir. Yeah, okay, sure. Get. Copy the Then go to Google Meet and paste it here. Please. Ah, that is what I uh, I tried to do previously. Yes. Okay, can you guys access to that? Why might cannot? All right. Okay. Uh, basically, what you need to do is that uh, you have to log in to your MFU student's ID. This is not the quiz yet. Yeah? This, this is just for practice. Okay. Uh, so we will have this 10 question, okay? which you have to answer all questions. Uh, and uh, you uh, it will be done for this part. Uh, this is for the test quiz. So you have 10 minutes to answer this. Okay. So uh, starting from now, okay, uh, and uh, we'll count, uh, it'll be 10 40. Okay. I'll close this. Okay. So please start to answer this question. Okay. Uh, and we would like to see how many of you scored this properly. Okay. Please do that. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's why the test is okay or not. Yeah, I will stop at uh, 10.40. 
uh, after that you will be able uh, you won't be able to submit anything yet anything at all after that right so there are 10 questions uh, basically what does OSI stands for and then uh, you have in the context of signal periodic signal what does it do right and then what is the relationship between the period frequency wavelength and signal and so forth okay so within this 10 minutes please do so so does the piece also apply to students in other section no this is just for my section only only for my lecture session eh? Right. Okay, thank you. Right. Thank you for those who share the attendance and also the link to the uh, test. Okay. Your browser, you should uh, be logged into your Right, anybody have submitted it? Okay, so what did already submit? Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
by the way, you can say, uh, on your friend, and yeah, that is wrong. <laughs> so, do you ever like that? How did you get under that? Then, 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 Right? Wow. It, so median is it. Average is 8.16 out of 10 points. Okay. So I predict that for the test, everyone will get a very good mark. Huh? Hopefully. Huh? Right? So four more minutes, okay? This is it, whenever you are ready. So meaning that for our test in 10 questions, I just limit to five minutes. Is it okay? Play it, huh? Because everyone can answer it mostly correct with 10, within 10 minutes. 10 minutes is too long, is it? Huh? Tana. <laughs> it test, eh? I just test you guys. So in 10 minutes, uh, most of you got uh, mostly care. Uh, see? Many got it, right? 10, 10 out of 10. So I have to reduce the time for the real piece. Anybody have problem uh, trying to assess? Because uh, this will be the same thing that we will use for our piece later on towards the end. Any question? Most had to Timba. <laughs> that is too short. Uh, okay, Leong Diong, if you still cannot access, I've already shared that also on uh, the Google Classroom. So perhaps you can just click on the Google Classroom link. Uh, okay. Uh, then Timba, lah. So I better be here most of the time. I hope here. Right, one more minute, then I close the session and uh, So I think uh, everyone has already submitted, right? With this average of 8.44. Okay, uh, maybe I reduce it to nine minutes for the real quiz. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, perhaps I will discuss the answer maybe next uh, lecture. Okay. So uh, since we already a bit, uh, 
behind of the time. Okay. Uh, so perhaps I can directly discuss on the lecture slides. Okay. So uh, for today, uh, we would like to look into the methods of error detection and error correction. Okay. Uh, mostly on this, uh, on this, we'll be focusing on the data link layer. Okay. Uh, where we would like to detect uh, the uh, bit bit by bit lah. So now it's more towards uh, the uh, zero or one. Okay? So we are not uh, on the network layer or on the transport layer. Like transport layer, we also have some error correction and error detection okay? uh, to have a reliable data transmission. On the data link layer, also we have some uh, mechanism to make sure that uh, the uh, on any of the events, okay, uh, if there's any uh, problems with respect to the uh, data that we sent, okay, so we would like to make sure that we can detect it at least. Okay, uh, and eventually, if we able to uh, reconstruct, uh, resend, or perhaps uh, we can, um, what they call it, uh, we can identify and uh, and making sure that it's a. Uh, uh, we receive it, okay? so that is what we intended to do, lah, right? So for this error correction, okay, uh, so we will look into uh, methods uh, that we actually have uh, on error detection, okay, and eventually on error correction, okay, right? And then we will also. Uh, Identify different techniques for simple error detection and basically error correction. So um, a simple way is that you can detect bits by bit. Lah, okay? So if you have zero change to one, one change to zero, then that is considered as a, a single bit detection. But if you have more than one, okay, that is what we call bursty uh, error or bursty uh, information that needs to be corrected. Lah, okay? So we will see also uh, what we call simple error detection or single error detection and also bursty error detection okay? uh, and eventually uh, rather than retransmit okay? so uh, most of the algorithm that we'll start with uh, later we'll see that most of it is uh, where you have to retransmit okay? you can detect it but you cannot make any uh, correction okay? so what they usually need to do is that uh, you have to identify the error and then you ask the sender to retransmit. Okay? So with that, you will also see that we have a message, return message that called ACK, acknowledge for them. So you will see that uh, where you have what we call ACK. You have what we call ACK, acknowledgement message, okay? and NDCK, negative acknowledgement message. Okay? So in this method is that when you have this, if this is the sender and this is the receiver, so this is the sender, this is the receiver. Okay? So when you have your message uh, being sent from sender, receiver, so this is your data, right? Uh, and then you need to wait for the receiver to send either uh, back to the sender uh, acknowledgement, uh, which is ACK represent the positive acknowledgement, and NACK means that negative acknowledgement. So basically, the ACK and NACK represent that uh, if it receives uh, properly, then you send acknowledgement. Then the receiver will send the ACK uh, message. Yeah? Whereas if it is, uh, you have detected that with an error, okay, so what you can send uh, from the, the receiver is that you send the negative acknowledgement, meaning that uh, they need the sender needs to resend back the packet. Okay? So, and then uh, there's another method that we call forward error correction, meaning that we do some duplication or uh, we append much more information, uh, redundancy, they call it redundancy. So with this redundancy, you want to make sure that rather than you retransmit, okay, uh, if you have run plus redundancy over here, plus uh, a redundancy, so meaning that if you detect the error received by the receiver, 
you can actually make the correction directly. You don't have to wait for the receiver to resubmit. So, uh, without the power error correction, when you receive the data, okay, so if this is data number one, you receive an acknowledgement, you send uh, a next data, data number two. Okay? Uh, or if you receive an acknowledgement, a negative acknowledgement, you resend back the data number one. Okay? So, it can be either one or two. Right? Um, and this uh, is where you need, uh, if you detect uh, uh, positive or negative uh, error, okay? so you will have to respond to it. Okay? Uh, and then we have another method that we call forward error correction where you don't have to retransmit. You have some redundancy on your data uh, and then you can uh, figure out how to solve the problem. For instance, uh, like when you uh, have YouTube, right? Uh, you can actually send with the high resolution together with the uh, low resolution. Okay, so with respect to that, uh, when uh, you detect the data uh, or the bandwidth of your connection is low, rather than you still waiting for the high resolution, you can actually play the uh, low resolution. Okay, so that is how you can actually quickly uh, improve the uh, error correction. So we will see basically different types of error uh, where we see that we have a block, uh, block coding, uh, cyclic uh, code, uh, checksum, forward error correction, and so forth. Okay? Uh, but uh, I would like to um, give you uh, some uh, general idea on this error. Okay? Uh, so basically uh, for error detection, okay? uh, this is for error detection. Uh, there are four different types of, if you refer to some other documents, okay, uh, you can have four different types. One is what we call uh, BRC, vertical redundancy check, BRC. Then we also have what we call uh, LRC, longitudinal, uh, longitudinal uh, re uh, recycle, uh, check, uh, redundancy check. Then you have this check sum, okay, check sum. And finally, you have what you call CRC method. Okay, so this is for error detection. There are four different components where in this slide, if you look into it, uh, the VRC is uh, where you have this uh, uh, parent DB uh, detection. Okay? And then for the LRC is where you have uh, two uh, dimension of parent DB detection. Okay? And then you have the checksum and finally you have the CRC. Uh, so, uh, it will be uh, for detection. Then, uh, this is a method that you can use uh, to uh, improve the uh, error correction by uh, using uh, additional or uh, better algorithm. Okay? So, you can use uh, what we call having code. Okay? Uh, you can use X4. You can use uh, chum interleaving and
can you give it? Is it okay? okay. Sorry for that. Okay. It, has, it is out of my control. <laughs> right. So coming back to our discussion. Huh? <laughs> Dah you skin eh, boleh eh? Alright, coming back to our discussion just now. Alright, so if you have a single error, uh, you can detect it okay, uh, by simply uh, do what we call uh, uh, parity check. Okay? Uh, parity check means that uh, perhaps you can have a redundant uh, bits okay? and then you can uh, uh, do that uh, additional. Say so that if you send uh, a zero bit and you another one, you send a bit of one, zero and one, you do the uh, checking. Okay? It's not matched. Okay? So perhaps uh, it represents that it's an error. But if you send zero, zero, perhaps matching, so you can say that uh, you have uh, a parity uh, a, a point that, okay? So, uh, with single bit, okay, uh, you will have a simply uh, solution, okay? But uh, when you have uh, multiple bits, okay, uh, error in uh, such a code, okay, say that you have a code of eight bit, okay, uh, a single word of eight bits, okay? So, uh, perhaps out of the eight bits, three or four having uh, an error, okay, uh, where this error comes through perhaps the transmission media that is not uh, reliable okay? uh, or perhaps when you receive the packet being dropped or whatsoever so you are uh, missing some of the uh, information or data okay so if it's bursty okay uh, then uh, you have to do something uh, more okay so uh, in that next figure you will see that uh, this is what we call a single bit error okay and the other one is where you can you just have a Error, okay? so your message can be uh, a combination of many bits okay? so right here it says that you have one two three four five six seven eight so eight bits okay? out of eight bits you have one single error okay? but out of this i think 16 altogether you have uh, four errors altogether okay? so we respect you that okay? so you will uh, need to do something uh, so that you're able to uh, firstly, detect and secondly, make the correction. Okay, so that's the challenge that we are having right now, right? So, uh, the main uh, solution is that when you detect, okay, if you can detect, uh, first thing, if you can detect, uh, central concept of detecting and correcting errors is redundancy. Okay? So, uh, redundancy in the sense that you can redundant sending it, okay? you resend it later on. Okay, when you detect it, or perhaps you have some information that you can append together uh, just to make sure that you're able to uh, correct the information when it's been sent. Okay? So to be able to detect uh, or correct errors, we need to send a more extra, extra bit with our data. Okay? So right now, if you have uh, four bits of data, perhaps you have to append a few more bits just uh, to do uh, detection or perhaps uh, add more than that uh, for you to do correction. Okay. So this is the C bit are added by the sender and removed by the receiver. Okay. So if you have looked into the TCP IP uh, uh, protocol layer before, okay, uh, we see that you have some headers from upper layer to the lower layer, right? So now you have to append much more bits just for error detection. So this present allow the receiver to detect and correct corrupted bits, okay? and redundancy is achieved through various coding scheme. Okay? So you can do that using various uh, correct, uh, coding scheme. Uh, but again, uh, these two terms, detection versus correction, is a two different thing. Okay? So if you can detect, okay, uh, then you can make correction. But in the same times, per perhaps you have misdetected. Okay? So for instance. Rather than you wanted to identify that there's an error, a single bit error, but actually there's more than one bit error. So you have misinterpret uh, or misdetect. Okay? So with respect to that, um, you will have 
to identify that uh, it's not just enough uh, to uh, to detect a single bit error. So you have to do much bigger operation, or do you have to find a, a more better algorithm to, um, to detect it properly? Yeah. So the correction of error is more difficult than the detection. And the error detection, we are only looking to see if any error has occurred. Okay, uh, it's either yes or no. And then we are not even interested in the numbers of corrupted bit. Okay, so single bit error is the same for us as a burst error. Okay, so for detection purpose, okay, uh, single bit error uh, will be the same lah. Okay, if you just want to detect if there's any error or not. And in error correction, we need to know the exact number of bits that corrupted, corrupted. Okay, and uh, press quickly the location, right? So based on this diagram, rather than you just know that there's an error when you send and uh, receive, there's different uh, bits okay, that we send and receive. Okay, uh, you just don't want to detect it, but you want to know how many bits are corrected. Okay, and in the same time, where's the location? Okay, so that is the main uh, issues that we have with error correction. Okay, so uh, you can see that uh, you can use what we call block coding, uh, where uh, we divide the message into block, okay, uh, which is called uh, data words, okay, and then you uh, append a redundant um, bits okay, uh, to uh, make it uh, the number of uh, code words okay, uh, that we said is equals to n equals to k plus r. So the code word here uh, that we use okay, just to represent that is the message uh, plus uh, some information that we have already append uh, before we send through the transmission medium. Okay. So how can errors be detected okay, uh, by using block coding if the following two conditions are received? The receiver uh, can find a list of valid code words okay, and the original code word has changed into a invalid one. Okay. So if you can uh, identify it. Okay? Uh, and one of the most important thing, you can see again. Come here. Can you follow me? Can you follow? Uh, okay, All right. So uh, basically, you have to identify either. Uh, is already do some changes lah. Okay, so the receive, uh, but in the same time, both sender and receiver has to have the same uh, idea. Okay, so if you use a, a redundancy checking or parity bit, a sender and receiver both have to use it. Lah. If you use CRC, both sender and receiver have to know that you are using uh, CRC, right? So for the for the sake of uh, proper uh, discussion, okay. So uh, it's best to identify any uh, actual or real information that we want set, we want to send is called data word, okay? And then uh, the code word represent that uh, information plus uh, the, the uh, additional headers or additional bits uh, used to uh, detect or do correction, okay? So you will also have a generator that can uh, make uh, insertion of the additional bits, okay? Uh, and with respect to that, usually the n bits will be much greater than the k bits. Uh, okay? So the information uh, will have to have more bits uh, or the code word uh, need, to, uh, need to have more number of bits compared to the data word itself. Okay? Then um, at the receiving end, okay, uh, you will have to uh, detect either uh, you want to accept it, okay? means that uh, if uh, the information uh, you detected uh, or uh, you, you identified is correct, so what you can do is that you extract the information and drop all the pages, okay? and then uh, you can use the data word, uh, okay? or else you have to discard the information or the code word, right? Right, so this is an example uh, of your uh, code word. Okay? So if you have uh, K, uh, your code word, uh, data word has two, okay? and then you have another bit for your um, redundancy. So you have a code word of uh, three altogether. Okay? 
to perhaps your data work will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and the code word will be somewhat uh, as being shown. Uh, okay? So this is how you can uh, exchange. Okay? So assume the sender uh, encodes the data 0, 1 as 0, 1, 1, and send it to the receiver. Okay? So now, when you already send, okay, and what happens if you receive it differently? Okay? So the receiver receives 0, 1, 1. It means that that's the correct information. So uh, it's a valid code word. Okay, so uh, the receiver extracts the data word of 0, 1. So meaning that from this table, both sender and receiver has to have this information. It means that they know this is how it is being coded. Okay? So the sender knows that uh, if it's 0, 0, 1, the data word is 0, 0. Uh, sorry, 0, 0, 0, the data word is 0, 0, and so forth. Okay? Uh, the code word is corrupted during transmission and it receives 111, okay? Uh, and it's an invalid code word, okay? So out of this, you don't have any 111. So now you uh, uh, will know that it's totally unacceptable. So what you can do is that it's corrupted and you can discard it, okay? And the code word is corrupted uh, during transmission. Instead of 011, it becomes 000, okay? So with respect to this, uh, you check your code word and still you have uh, one of the combination of the uh, code word is 000, and you falsely detected, right? Uh, as this is the, uh, uh, the, the real data. Okay? And what it did, uh, what is that uh, happened is that uh, it will say that this, uh, the receiver will say that this is a valid code, uh, and the receiver incorrectly extract the data word of 00. Okay? Uh, so, uh, if you use a single bit okay, uh, detection, okay, when you have two uh, corrupted bits, then you still have problem. Okay? So, that's not enough. Okay? So, then uh, you can actually expand it okay, uh, because our uh, code words, sorry, our data work usually not just uh, a simple uh, 8 bits altogether, but it's a combination of a number of bytes. Okay? So uh, perhaps you have to further improve. One of the uh, area that you can use is what we call Hamming coding. Okay? So with Hamming coding, you have this what we call Hamming distance. Okay? So with Hamming distance, uh, if you have a uh, distance between 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1, okay? so it is 2 because you have 2 of 1. Okay? And if it's uh, uh, for this combination, okay? it's a 3 and it's a because it has a three ones, okay? So we, you compare it, okay? uh, between here, okay? it means that you do X4, right? Uh, and you uh, identify you have two eyes, uh, two ones, okay? And this you do X4, where you have uh, zero, one, zero, one, okay? So just to recall, if you don't remember your X4 operation, okay? Just re still remember your X4 operation? Uh, if you have A, B, Right? Then you want to X or A, X or B. X or is plus, uh, and then you circle it over here. Okay? So if your A is 0, B is 0, A is 1, B is 0, then, uh, sorry, the body. Uh, A is 0, B is 1, and then B is, A is 1, B is 0, then 1, 1. So XOR, okay, because this one you will use uh, later on also. When you have zero, zero, you will have zero. Okay? When you have one of it, one are uh, uh, different. Okay? Uh, when two bits are different, then the output is one. Again, one or zero is one. And if you have one, one uh, similar, the A and B is zero. So this is the uh, how you look at it. Okay? So when you have this, okay, so when you uh, XOR 0 and 1, so when you use 0, XOR, 0, 0, and then you XOR with 0, 1, 1. So what you do is that 0, 1 is 1, 0, 1 is 1, and 0, 0 is 0. So that is why it says that you have two zeros, two ones. Huh? And this one, if you do the same thing, you get uh, three ones. Okay? So with respect to that, uh, you have better luck. Assume that the code scheme has a uh, having distance of t minimum equal to 4. 
the code generates the detection up to three errors. Okay? So uh, if you increase it, uh, the number of bits okay, for your detection, uh, then you can uh, improve further on your number of bits detected, right? So this is basic idea of uh, detection. Any questions so far? Good, good, huh? <laughs> so, any questions so far? So, yeah. So, handling distance between two words uh, is the number of difference between correspondent bits. Okay, so these are the table. Uh, say that C54, uh, C means that uh, this is the code uh, word. Okay? Uh, so, uh, 5 is the total number of bits, the code word itself, and the, the 4 is the number of Data words. Okay. So code word and data words. Okay. So if you have your data words uh, with four bits, okay, then you can append another one. Okay. And with respect to that, you have a combination of your data words and code words. Right. Okay. So with respect to that, uh, you can have this parity bit okay, where you can make a comparison. Okay. Uh, basically, you can see that how many numbers of one. Right. So then the parity bit is one uh, that you append to the uh, least significant bits of your code word, right? And then you transmit. You can see that this term unreliable transmission, although we try to design for a reliable transmission, but in real world, yes, sometimes there's some uh, things uh, that uh, perhaps uh, uh, deter the transmission signal. Okay? So it can actually disrupt the actual information. So what uh, you can do is that you have to uh, predict further, which is now we what we are doing. Okay, uh, so we assume that this is a unreliable transmission. So for you later on when you do your perhaps research paper later on, okay, sometimes you have to model your transmission media as reliable and sometimes unreliable. Okay, so if you want to study uh, more on the transmission line, basically what you have to do is to find uh, model uh, for the unreliable transmission, but if you just want to uh, perhaps study on the higher level of your network, so perhaps you can use the model of uh, reliable transmission media. Okay, so that can be selected. Okay, so uh, you have the generator, you append the parity bits okay, uh, based on the ones, number of ones, okay, and then eventually you receive it. Okay, if there's no error, by checking uh, by uh, okay, uh, or the checker with a syndrome zero, uh, and uh, you have to decide uh, either it's acceptable or not. Okay, but this one is just for a single bit error detection. Uh. Okay, so uh, for instance here, uh, you have a data word of one zero one one, and the code word created by the data word is one zero one one one, which is sent to the receiver. We can find, I mean, five cases. Okay? So there are five cases that you can identify. Uh, you can have, if you receive the zip code word 10111 okay? uh, with no error and the syndrome is uh, zero. Okay? So, how do you determine the syndrome here is that when you have an even number of bits, right? Uh, then you don't know. I think I want you to do it. Okay, then you don't know. Okay, so. Uh, when you have this syndrome, yeah, when you have this as even, uh, even number of bits of one, even number of ones. Yeah. So here you have one, an even number of one, uh, one, two, three, four. So four is even. So you can detect that the syndrome is zero. Yeah. So the data word is then created uh, as one, zero, one, one. Then, if you say that you have a single bit of changes of uh, this A1, eh? uh, because this is A0, this is A1, and this is actually the uh, parity bit that you append, right? Uh, and changes the blue one here, right? Uh, and the code uh, is uh, 10011. So, with respect to that, you count the number of ones, and this is an odd, so the syndrome is one. So uh, it detected that it doesn't match with the parity bit, okay? uh, and uh, you can actually drop it. Okay? 
Then one single error changes are not, okay, which is the uh, syndrome uh, or the, the again the parity bit. Okay, since you are actually detecting the number of what, okay, uh, 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 even uh, number of what, okay. So this one is uh, odd, okay. So the syndrome is one, okay. So no data is created, uh, okay. So you know that although none of the data words are granted. Uh, no data word is created because code is not sophisticated enough to show the position of the corrupted bit. Okay, so you, uh, you can, uh, you you cannot detect uh, or you can detect okay, because it's already set a uh, error packet or error bits. Okay, but uh, again, uh, the data word itself is not being corrupted. Okay, but you are able to identify which are not corrupted and which are the other way around. Okay, and then. An error change and uh, are not, and then second error change A3. Okay, so now it's a binary, although there's an error here. Okay, but uh, you have uh, the syndrome is zero, okay, meaning that uh, it should be a uh, uh, data is correct. Okay, so data is created at the receiver, but note that uh, the data word is correct, wrongly created due to the syndrome value. Uh, and the simple parity check decoder cannot detect the number of uh, at even number of errors. Okay? So that is where you have more than one bit. Okay? So you aren't able to detect it properly, right? And when you have more than that, uh, the code word is uh, uh, now uh, what zero one zero one one for instance, and the syndrome is one. Okay? Now uh, you are detecting it, okay? but you actually don't know how many bits and where is the location. Okay? So there are four, uh, five different uh, scenario that you can see uh, from this example okay, uh, with uh, parity bits that being append on your left uh, LSP, left significant bit. Okay, so you'll be able, uh, unable to detect it. Okay. Um, then just now is what we call parity uh, detection okay, or BRC, uh, vertical uh, redundancy check. Now, uh, this is what we call L R uh, L R C L R C okay. uh, longitudinal uh, uh, L R C redundancy check. Okay. So, in longitudinal uh, <laughs> longitudinal redundancy check, what you need to do is that you need to uh, block your information okay, uh, and then. Uh, put it into vertical alignment. Okay, so here uh, a block of bits organized into a table, rows and columns. Okay, so if you have a continuous uh, data, let's see on the next slide, when you have this continuous data or regional data that you wanted to uh, identify or set, okay, uh, so you have to make it into blocks. Okay, so now uh, the it choose that uh, you need to have four blocks okay, with uh, each block have uh, seven bits altogether. Okay? So now uh, you will make sure that uh, this is being put into vertical. Okay? So each of this will be put into vertical. So you will, you will do that uh, like uh, starting from here, okay? you put on the bottom line okay? and then this is this number and this is this block okay and finally this is this block right okay so what you need to do that you have to x off okay or you have to add to it's not x on you have to add uh uh from this block okay uh each and every bit over there right so now uh if you have to uh sorry not uh add you have to do your parity, lah. parity. Uh, check for your even. Okay. So if this an even number, so you choose zero. If this an odd numbers of ones, you choose one, right? So this is one, one, zero, zero. So you have an even, so you choose zero. Uh, this have three ones, this is an odd, so you have one and so forth. Okay. And then what you have to do is that you need to append what are the information that you receive okay, uh, to that uh, append this. Okay, so here, 
uh, you have uh, these numbers okay, and this one is on the vertical side of it, right? So this is uh, an odd numbers, okay? So you have one, and this one is the one that you add to the uh, LSP and of each and every block, okay? And then you also have your uh, code, uh, two-dimension parity check code that represent this, okay? To be added to here, right? So I just repeat, let me clear this up. So basically, when sorry, <laughs> basically when you have these two dimensional, you have uh, information that uh, continuous uh, serial information over here, and then you have to put it into blocks that you choose, okay, uh, with that specific numbers. Yes, so here uh, it has decided to have four blocks, okay, and then with seven bits altogether. And then you rearrange this. So this one, you put it as the below one. Okay? And then this one is the second one, third one, and fourth one. Uh, you have to do the uh, parity check on vertical and horizontal. Okay? So here, one, 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 this is an even. Eh? So, uh, sorry, this is an odd. So when it's odd, you, you give zero, right? So you have to know this when it is even numbers of one, you give one. So you give zero. Okay. When it is an odd numbers of ones, right? So you append the parity as one. Okay. So this one is even. This is even. Okay. This is one, two, three, four, five. So this is odd. Uh, so this is odd, this is odd, uh, this is one, two, three, four, this is even. And one, two, three, this is odd, right? Okay. And then same goes for on the vertical one. One, two, three, four, this is even, so you put zero, one uh, here, one is an odd, and so forth. And also for here, you add, uh, you also have to do this parity check, okay? So with respect to that, this is the original data and this is the information that we want to transmit. Okay? So this is how uh, you do two-dimension uh, parity check. Okay? Right. Any questions so far? So by uh, a single parity and then uh, we also do have, uh, have two-dimensional uh, parity check. Eh? Right. So if we wanted to send this information, okay, uh, which is already being uh, appended with the information, uh, with the code. Okay. Uh, however, it hits by a burst length of 8. Okay. So you have a burst length of 8. Okay. So uh, the red one represents that this is the corrupted message. Okay. When the receiver checks the parity bit, some of the bits do not follow the event parity rule, and the whole block is discarded. Okay. So everything is discarded. Uh, because you don't, uh, you aren't able to determine uh, any of that uh, that specifically have uh, can be detected, right? But in the same time, okay, uh, when you have this two-dimensional parity check, uh, you have the increase of likelihood of detecting burst error, okay, and a redundancy of n bits can easily detect a burst error of n bits. Okay? So uh, if it's not kind of bursty like, okay, so you will able to uh, identify, okay, uh, and a bursty error of more than n bits is also detected by this method with a very high probability. Uh, and if two bits in one data unit are damaged and two bits in exactly the same position uh, in another data are also damaged, the checker will not detect the error as well. So basically, uh, you can see that it's decreased uh, from the previous uh, parity simple check. Okay, so now you can actually, uh, uh, for instance, here making the units zero and zero, the error can be detected by this method. Okay, so there's uh, there's still uh, room of improvement where you need to further improve it. Okay, so 
uh, it can detect better okay, but you still need to have much better uh, algorithm to uh, further detect okay? so then we move to the crc right uh, crc is a cyclic uh, redundancy check okay? uh, where idea is the same where you need to append much more bits uh, to be added uh, to this uh, the the word uh, the data word okay? uh, and uh, with the uh, cyclic redundancy check, okay, we usually most on line and web, okay, uh, where you have the data word, then you have your code word, okay, uh, with uh, you see seven four means that you have total bits of four or seven, and the code, the data word is actually four, right? Okay, so what it did is that uh, with the CRC, basically what you have that uh, the code generated. Okay, uh, with this number of uh, code uh, redundancy. Okay, so basically for CRC, okay, so if you have uh, a fixed length of divisor, okay, uh, you need to find uh, how many actually division uh, bits of needs to be used as the division over here. So here, uh, the number of code words uh, or the number of uh, your CRC is actually three, okay? and then you append it uh, and being generated, and eventually this is the code word that you have to set, right? Then uh, you need to share uh, the division divisor. Okay? So one of the characteristic is that if your division uh, size of bits is L, okay, uh, this number of bits should be L minus one. So this uh, one of the characteristic, right? And then uh, you have to perform binary XOR uh, using uh, XOR operation. And here, the generator, when you already have this data word and also this uh, number of bits that you have identified. So what you need to do is that at this part is that you have you use XOR uh, to actually do your X of X form okay. uh, to, to identify your CRC code word, okay, which we'll see later on, right? And then at uh, the receiver end, okay, so you need to check okay, and you find the syndrome. If the syndrome that you receive is all zeros, okay, then you will see that there's no error, okay, and then you can uh, accept it and uh, you convert the information uh, as a data word. Okay, so here is uh, how you can have it a uh, uh, simple encoder and decoder. So you have the encoder, you have the decoder. Okay, uh, and this is how you actually uh, I can do the encoding part. Okay, whereby uh, your data word here. Okay, so this is your data word, and this is your uh, additional bits okay? uh, which is again uh, if this is l the size of the bits as l equals to four okay and uh, your additional bits for your crc code will have to be l minus one which is equals to three okay so it should be a one less bit right so how do you do this is that uh, you have but you have to divide it uh, this uh, with respect to the divisor. Okay, so the divisor is the one that are uh, being sh shared between the center and receiver over here, right? Okay, and this is the data and this is the bit of pen. So here, from this diagram, uh, you have the data word and this is the zero, 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 the three bits that you append on the uh, less significant bits. Okay? So now you divide. So one zero one one divided by these values, okay, and then uh, what you need to do here is that uh, again you do your uh, XOR, okay. So one one is zero, zero zero is zero, zero one is one, one one is zero, right? Okay. So then uh, this one you can neglect. Uh, you take one of this bit, okay, uh, to this down here. 
and then uh, you actually you have to take two the you directly you can use this okay so you have one zero over here uh, and you can have now one zero one one and one zero 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 okay uh, then XOR again one zero one one you have uh, zero one one zero okay and uh, actually this is the reminder remainder okay so this is the remainder that we wanted to have and this is the one that you change back into this okay so the remainder here you change back into this and that is why your code word is now it's the uh, data words plus the remainder of your uh, division over here right so now this is the information of code word that we send uh, to the send to the receiver right okay so at the receiving part uh, where you have to uh, do this uh, back the division okay one thing for this uh, division uh, the portion is the one the information up here uh, if you ask to do this uh, you are not um, particularly on this okay or you don't have to actually know what's the value over here we just want to focus on the remainder down here right so you can just bring it up okay same goes for here on the portion up here you don't have to be uh, correct or actual you okay, just focus on this so when you have uh, this uh, information uh, with the CRC code being sent and received. Okay, there's two different uh, uh, scenario where uh, you can have corrupted and uncorrupted. So based on that, this is how it be done. Okay? You divide it back by the code word. Okay? And if you do the same thing and you see that uh, the remainder of this uh, and we call it syndrome is equals to zero zero zero. So it means that there's no error. Or else, if you see that uh, the remainder has uh, either the zero zero zero, then uh, you will see that uh, is uh, already corrupted. Okay? So what you need to do is that you have to discard the message, right? So the code word can change during transmission, uh, and the decoder does the same division process as the encoder. Okay? And the remainder of the division is the syndrome, and we are trying to look up for all zeros okay? and if the syndrome is all zeros then there's no error with high probability okay? uh, the data word is separated uh, from the receiver okay? and be accepted okay? otherwise uh, it can be discarded right okay? so then figure a shows two cases okay? this one uh, where one is uh, corrupted and the other one is uncorrupted right okay um I want you to um, try this. Okay? So I have this value. Uh, where should I put it? Uh, okay, so find what is the CRC if the information data or the data word is one 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 zero zero. Uh, one zero one zero one okay and uh, okay. uh this one is uh one zero one okay and you have this uh the code one is one one zero one they say that this is the receiving part right and this is the code word uh or the division the division okay uh, so identify either this uh information is uh correct or un uh, corrupted or uncorrupted can you do that for me okay within uh, three minutes okay so perhaps everyone try to uh do this division so this one one zero zero one zero one zero one you put here so this is at the receiver part, and you divide it with 1101. Uh, if you have, uh, or if you come up with zero uh, as the remainder, then uh, this is accepted, or else you will have uh, corrupted information. Can you try to do that? And I'll go around. Thank you. 
So one of your friends identified there's no error. Right? How many of you got uh, zero syndrome? Satu, dua, tiga. Guys, eh, dia tak nampak. Sini, sini. Come here. Sophia, come, follow me. Okay, can you comment how many of you got zero syndrome? How many of you got uh, 
ഞാൻ ജീവിതം ചിന്ത Yes or no? Yes or no? Uh, all right. They say that I insert new slide and be blank. I project this. Right? So I wanted you guys to divide just now uh, the value of one One, 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 zero, zero, and then one, zero, one, zero, one, okay. and the divider should be uh, one, one, zero, one, eh? one, one, zero, one, okay. so what you need to do now is that Uh, you need to take uh, this value, okay? this division, so 1, 1, right? So you XOR, 0 and 1 is 1, 1 and 0 is 1, then this is 0 and 0, right? Okay, so you need to append two more bits, okay? Because this is uh, four bits altogether. So you take this one down and also this one. Okay, so you have one zero one one zero one. Okay, uh, the x all again with one one zero one, right? So you get everything is zero. So now you have to take everything here down. Okay, zero one zero one. Uh, you cannot divide this, so this is the remainder. So my answer will be uh, non zero system. Did you know that? Zero system. Huh? Okay. So should be is a non zero system. Right? Any question on this? So you use XOR, XOR uh, to find what would be the Best answer. Okay. Uh, also, you can be given the question in types of polynomial, right? Uh, where uh, just now, if you have this uh, one zero one one. So just now, uh, they can also ask you the question using polynomials. Uh, the polynomials means that uh, you have to know what is the power of uh, starting from power of two to power of zero, right? Uh, plus uh, how do you see this? Uh, x power of zero, x power of one, uh, plus x power of three, for instance, here. Well, for uh, this one, x power of zero is one up. Okay, so x power of one. So means that this is the fourth bit. So in binary, you will be uh, this is x to the power of three. You don't have x to the power of two, so x power of two is zero. X to the power of one is one. So here bit number two, and uh, this is bit number one. Okay, so if you have this polynomial equation, okay, the similar binary bit will be. This one, right? Same goes for here. If you have this, meaning that you have uh, up to seven. Okay? So if you have seven, 
six, five, five, four, three, two, one bits. Okay. Yeah? So your bit number one is one, meaning that you have bit one. Then you have x to the power of y here. So you have another bit over here. Then x to the power of six, which is your seven bit. So it's one. The rest is zero. Right? So this can also be represented in polynomial. Okay? So sometimes they ask you uh, with the division of this poly polynomial. Okay? So you need to convert it into this polynomial. Right? So this is how you convert it. Uh, so if you have x to the power of 6, okay, uh, so it's 1. Then if you don't have uh, the co co coefficient of x power of 5, 4, 3, 2, so uh, everything is bit 0. And then you have the quotient for x to the power of 1 and x to the power of 0. Okay, So if you given this x to the power of 6 plus x plus 1, so you will only left with 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Right? So that is how... Uh, it looks like if you are asked to change to polynomial, right? So you can also do that uh, in this polynomial form, okay? Uh, say that this is the same thing that you have to do that, okay? So right now, uh, what you have to do is that uh, if this, uh, this one, you should have, uh, what do you call it, uh, division, so you divide, okay? And then uh, if uh, you have the same, uh, here you just uh, minus it out. Okay? If, it's, if you have x6 and x6, then this is 0. Then you have x4, and uh, just one single one. Do you have x3 twice of that? Then goes to 0. And you have the remainder as x2 plus x. Right? So with this code word, x6 plus x3, then you have the remainder uh, with x2 plus x. That's the binary. Okay, so then you can do the division, and these are the sum of the uh, CRC uh, that we use all together so that you're able to uh, transmit on the real data. Okay, so here, uh, CRC 32 basically is used uh, for our local area network, okay? or you can use CRC 16 for HDLC. So with cyclic redundancy check, uh, it's a good performance okay, uh, to detect single bit error. Uh, double error and odd numbers of error, also per C error, okay? but still, uh, you still have uh, some limitation for that. Okay? And it can be easily implemented okay? uh, with respect to the uh, X4 algorithm uh, mechanism and so forth. Okay? Uh, and it can be quickly be adopted. Okay? Uh, so that is why it's being used for many networks. Okay? And uh, also, we have another error detection, we call it a checksum, okay? So for a checksum, uh, basically, uh, you wanted to identify uh, the error based on the uh, numbers of bits, okay? uh, Where you uh, actually uh, do some, uh, some algorithm for it, okay? Uh, we, that will, I, I will share it later on, okay? So, uh, we'll see on the checksum on the next uh, session, right? So we have another 15 minutes, okay? So what I want to do is that uh, I want to do uh, the quiz now. Uh, same thing that we have uh, done uh, at the beginning, okay? Uh, basically, uh, So before we start, basically, I want you to log in uh, using your MMU student's ID. Okay? Uh, and for this one, I have 12 questions altogether, right? Uh, so 10 uh, is uh, the main, uh, there are 10 main questions and two extra questions. You have to answer all, okay? Uh, and I only count up to maximum of 10. So if you've got 12, Okay, I will cap to 10. Okay, but if you get like less than 10, then that's your marks. Okay, so uh, this is to give you uh, additional ex extra. Okay, so marks will be given to a maximum of 10 correct answers. Uh, if we have more than 10 correct answers, we will cap like, to 10 marks only. 
and this landmark will be scaled to 2.5 percent of your total carry marks okay uh and you have nine minutes left just now you said nine minutes nine minutes get ten minutes huh to have ten minutes ten ten huh for that okay so before i show the link uh i just want to know either either on the google meet are you ready no uh the previous one is the test quiz uh, this is the real quiz okay so this is the real quiz to so make sure that if your friend already uh, sleeping right now uh, wake them up okay and make sure that you don't copy your friend's answer because uh it's already being jumbled up okay uh and since you have 10 minutes okay uh i will start uh and give the link uh, around 11 49 okay then one minute okay right now try to connect uh, or try to prepare uh so that you're able to connect okay once i publish the link you have one minute uh to link to log in and to uh prepare and then 10 minutes to answer the question before i shut down the question huh? yeah come on, come on. So are I are you having uh, uh are you not healthy? How many minutes ten? Get ready? Are you all here? Any question before here? on the uh, google class eh? right i will also share this link on google class and also here okay so wait for it hundred and seventeen now the five 22, right? 23. Another 6 percent. Well, let's go, eh? North Africa. Let's go. Nak balik, eh? <laughs> so, uh, before we start, uh, anything that you want to ask regarding the uh, things that we already discussed just now? Error correction uh, and detection? Boleh, well, yeah? Can you do the division? Okay. So do the division based on the XOR method so that you're able to get the answer, right? Hundred twenty people. It's one hundred seventeen. That's ready? Okay, Nicholas, you are ready. Thumb up. All right. Many of you see that they are ready. Okay. One more minute. Right. 
So you guys have 10 minutes from now uh, to answer this question. Oh, nobody Two respondents already. Wow. <laughs> Ten out of twelve. Ten and twelve. What did you get? Same way. So where's the rest? Come on. We have another six minutes. <laughs> wow, a lot of eleven. Why shy of one? Oh, I didn't got no black. <laughs> but would I check out? Nobody have twelve. It's not very good. I think you guys are playing with me. Eh? already submitted how the rest how do you how how do you 
So this is the result right now. Twenty three percent already submitted. Okay. Average is ten point eight seven. This one is too simple. Eh? Median is eleven. Range seven to twelve point. Right. So please submit. You have another three minutes to go. Submit. Eh? Exactly at twelve, I will shut down the response. Eh? Don't delay the submission. Eh? So this question, two percent get it wrong. What's in the context of signal predicting means what? Have a fixed duration. Yeah, get that. Also this shaded uh, shaded capacity. Uh, this one every one got this right. Which are frank components, not a data communication system. Okay, so one got it right, uh, wrong. Then this one, everything got it right. But this one, banyak ayah salah. <laughs> ah, this one, interesting. You got it right, uh, wrong. Okay. Most uh, of it, 52 got it right. Okay. But which of the following is true about our people for addressing? This one, what's that? Grab a job, but what do you see? I do it. Okay, one more minute before I shut down the response. Eh? Uh, how do I shut down? Basically, when I say that the safety response here, clock. Okay, my clock is under one minute. So those who did not respond within one minute, then you are not able to submit at all. Okay. 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 I think. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Five. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. I want to. What to find out? Let's want to see. How many of somebody respond more than one? Right? What do you like? Ah, yeah. Okay, only just in my like chat session, eh? <laughs> more than the other session. You need a little bit. All right. Any more submission, or can I now shut down the comment? Any comment? Oh, thank you. Not yet, not yet. We haven't finished yet. Thank you, sir. Blow, blow. Yeah. All right. So 130. So I guess that everyone has submitted. Okay, although this is more than what I expected. So I close this, yeah. Right? All right, thank you very much. So basically now, uh, oh, very high. 
dulo sa UN. <laughs> so, uh, perhaps this, uh, uh, we will discuss this again later on uh, different, uh, on the next session, right? So, the answer to this. Uh, so, for today's session, just to recap, is what basically from this session, we have already seen uh, four types of different error detection, right? So, the first one is what we call uh, VRC, with, uh, Vertical uh, Redundancy Check. Okay? Then we have uh, this uh, VRC, or you can name it, uh, name it also uh, uh, Parity Check. Okay? Then you also have uh, the second one is the LRC, okay? the Longitudinal uh, uh, Redundancy Check, where you have uh, vertical and horizontal, where you have uh, uh, a number of codes okay, and then a uh, number of bits that you have to separate it into uh, blocks okay, and then you uh, append a uh, parity check again okay, on uh, the horizontal and vertical one right uh, or we also call it two dimensional priority okay. then we also see uh, on crc okay, uh, cyclic redundancy check okay. uh, and uh, last also we which we'll see later on okay, on the uh, check sum, right? So basically, uh, we need to detect okay, uh, and just uh, with respect to that, it's not enough. We also need to actually make correction. Okay? So the best thing right now, uh, especially for real uh, time communication, where you need to make sure that everything uh, can receive uh, very fast. So we want to make sure that uh, the detection and correction can be much faster than uh, what we expect, right? So with that, uh, I hope if you have any questions before we go. Okay. Uh, how about on our, our friend on Google Meet? Salam <laughs> Jumat. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> any questions? Are there? All right, sir, thank you. All right. So if there's no more or further question, okay, uh, so I can let you go. So uh, have a nice weekend and I'll see you next week, right? Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon.